Hi, good afternoon. Today we're going to do an another frequently asked question that we get on the topic of divorce, which is, can I prevent the other person's significant other from being around the kids? This is a question that I get asked a lot because typically what we see in a divorce is, you know, usually the divorce is a shock from one side and not so much from the other. So the other person sometimes moves on much faster than the other one, gets a significant other, which can cause some friction. And many times they are have concerns about the other person's significant other or just doesn't don't like them or any number of reasons why somebody wants to prevent the other side significant other from being around the kids. And in general, the most common answer to that is probably not. You probably cannot prevent the other side significant other from being around your kids. Um, courts in general aren't going to prevent the other party from moving on. They are going to allow them to you know, move on with their life, have another partner, um, have someone else come into their life, and the children are ultimately going to be around that person. The only time this really comes in where we can potentially do something about the other side, significant other not being around, is if for some reason we can find that the other side significant other could be potentially a danger to the children, um, typically for some sort of abuse or prior significant prior criminal charges um, that maybe have charges against children, um, things like that, that we can sometimes use to, uh, if we determine that the other side's significant other might be a danger to the children. But short of that, then the answer is most likely not. The other side is going to get to move on and they are going to get to introduce that significant other to their children when they determine it's appropriate, as well as you will have that ability to introduce your children to any new um, significant other that you have, that you're starting to date, and when you determine it's appropriate for them to meet that person in your life. And that is a decision that each parent gets to make uh, on their own. However, if you both agree that that's a decision to make together, you can do that, but that's not something typically that a court's going to require. Um, the court believes that each parent, when those children are with them, can parent appropriately and make decisions uh, for their children. So they will allow that parent to make the appropriate determination of when and where it's appropriate to introduce their significant other to the children. So uh, I hope that answered a frequently asked question that we get about introducing a significant other um, to your children. Um, if you have any other questions or going through divorce, feel free to give us a call. Thank you.